Hello everyone! Today we're going to be talking about the very important occurrence that happens on summer 12th to 14th that no one knows about. This was actually super surprising even to me, even though I have almost 900 hours in the game, I had no idea this was a thing. I've always thought it was kind of odd that spring and fall both had a few days throughout the month where you could go and gather a bunch of extra berries. Spring has salmon berries and fall has blackberries, but then summer doesn't really have anything. And those berries are hugely helpful, they give you a ton of energy, you can also sell them for extra money and you just run around and grab them for three days, it's a berry frenzy. But as it turns out, summer does actually have something. The reason why nobody really notices this is because it happens in an out of the way place and it's actually the TV that lets you know about it. Welcome to Living Off The Land, we're back again with another tip for y'all, now listen up. Are you paying attention? Starting tomorrow, an unusual amount of shells and corals are expected to wash up on the beaches all around the world. I'm no scientist, but I've heard it's something to do with crab mating season. At any rate, you could make some good coin combing your local beach. So there it is. Crab mating season. So basically what that's telling us is for the next three days, we're going to be able to get extra shells on the beach for extra money. So spring is salmon berries, summer has shells on the beach, and fall has blackberries. Each season has their own collectible. I'm not sure about winter yet, I guess it doesn't actually have anything. But that could be an investigation for a further video. Since it's the 11th today, we're going to sleep till tomorrow and then go see how many shells actually turn up on the beach. We'll collect them over a few days and see how many we actually get. And we're just going to do this with natural luck, we're not going to influence it in any way, as most of you will not be able to do anyway. Skills however, we are going to hit this with level 10 foraging because most of you probably will have level 10 foraging, it tends to be the easiest skill to level up because everyone picks up everything they can. Gatherer, chance for double harvest of forged items. And then for level 10, it's an easy choice, botanist, forged items are always of the highest quality. This should be an easy choice because tracker isn't really that useful, the forgeable items aren't that hard to find and if there's any hiding out there you're not going to miss them that much if you can't find them. First day of shell gathering. We're going to check our luck first thing, I don't know how much it's going to make an influence, they're very displeased today, alright that's not a good sign. If we get two days of bad luck we'll do the final day on best luck just to see if it makes a difference. I haven't gone to the beach yet this week and collected all the forgeables so whatever was there from the beginning of the week should still be there too so there should be extra extra shells I guess. First things first, we got Willy, and the sea is that strange colour today, so whenever you see the ocean that strange colour in summer that must be indicating that it's shell season. Alright we got two rainbow shells already, plus the red coral, uh, one of the sea urchins over here, have I fixed the bridge, another sea urchin, the bridge isn't fixed, let me just chop some wood for that bridge. As I was saying, and here's the rest of the shells, look at them all, and this is on a bad luck day. So I guess you could say it really does make a difference. Look at all those shells, I can't even count that high. Let's gather them up, repeat tomorrow and the next day, and see the value what we get over 3 days. Then maybe we'll skip it into fall, just to get a comparison of the value. I know the berries are worth more in energy than they are in money, but it would be an interesting comparison, considering this is a lot easier to harvest. For the berries you have to run around the entire world and gather them all. Here you know they're just all at the beach right here, and just like that I've collected them all. Which one is the real Alex? Summer 13, it's raining, we got us a lightning storm. Our luck today? Mildly perturbed, so that's about neutral. So what does that mean for our beach forageables? If it's anything like yesterday, we can make some money. One red coral at least. One oyster. Keep in mind that I did just pick up all the forageables yesterday, so these all respawned over one single day. Normally if you move through an area and clear it out, the next day you're probably not going to find very many things left, unless it happens to be Sunday because that's when they all reset. Once a week everything resets, but over these few days, eh, we seem to get a lot of stuff showing up. Today wasn't nearly as good as yesterday, but I think that's because they've been building up for the week. But then look what day it is tomorrow, it's going to be Sunday so the forageable should reset, so we're going to see exactly what we get for that. Hopefully it's a little better than yesterday. I was a little disappointed, the first day was awesome, day number two was kind of okay, I forgot to check the luck today. There's a couple corals, make it three, that's the purple one, uh, the urchin, I always forget what those are called. Did I see something else? Yeah we got another urchin up here in a weird spot. Still not as good as day number one, but definitely better than day number two was. Your more things, the first clam shell. I think the rainbow shells might actually be the most valuable because they're a summer only thing. Not a lot on this side of the beach today, but that settles it. Over the course of the three days in summer, we have five sea urchins, 24 corals, one mussel, uh, three rainbow shells, one cockle, one oyster, and one clam. Tomorrow the water should go back to a normal color. I'll verify that. I'm going to check the luck today to see exactly what it was. And then we'll see the value of all this. So luck today was good. Not the best, but still pretty good. And the value of everything for walking along, putting in a very modest effort to collect things on the beach. It's 
7,580 gold. That's very, very easy money and very little effort. So from summer the 12th to the 14th, go collect all the forgeables on the beach. Even if you don't do very often, that's just easy money, 2,500 gold a day. The water is back to its normal color today. I just wanted to see the difference and we're just gonna take a walk around the beach because I wanna show you all exactly the difference it makes. So far, there's only one clam here because it's just a regular typical day on the beach. You're not gonna get many forgeables showing up every day. One urchin, one clam. Let's skip this into fall. I want to do three days of blackberries to see what the value of those are worth. I'm just curious as to the comparison because the blackberries are going to be great for energy, but they're definitely a lot harder to pick. Also, bunny jumps. Please update the time skipper mod. I really miss it right now. Blackberry season is fall 8th to the 11th, by the way. But as you can tell, it should be obviously very clear right away. It's going to take a lot more effort and time to run around collecting all the blackberries because I've got to scour the entire map and I am playing on speed plus 10. Day number one of our blackberry adventure is over. We got a total of 58 blackberries because each bush can give us several blackberries. So now for a few more days. Day number two was a much better day for blackberries. We're all the way up to 175 now. So we got over 100 just today. Day number three wasn't quite as good, but we're up to a total of 250 blackberries. Now each one of those will give you 65 energy and 26 health because they're iridium quality. So obviously that's gonna be pretty much more energy than you're ever gonna need. But how much are they worth compared to the shells, which got us 7,500 gold for considerably less effort? Well, these did better. These did 11,000 gold. So they're not quite twice as good, but they're say 50% more valuable than the shells, but you do have to work a lot harder to get these. Plus, if you've done all the secret notes and you have bear knowledge, it needs to be worth three times as much, so 33,000 gold potentially. Before we end this video, I need your theories on this. Secret note 11. Some people have been asking me about it. At first, it seems like just an image. And that might be all it actually is. But keep in mind, all the other secret notes tell you something. They give you some information you didn't have before. So what exactly is this? Let me know in the comments below so I can steal your ideas and make a video about it.